Despite the air quality and the heat, the high school football season is showing no signs of slowing down, but players, coaches and parents are all stressing the importance of hydration. Fox 40's Zach Boeto is live from Natomas High School tonight after talking with coaches and parents and officials about keeping cool. Zach. Eric, a lot of these players grew up here in this area locally. They know we experience these very hot summers. They know to stay hydrated. They know to drink that water. But still, within the last 15 minutes, we've seen at least three players go down with cramps because of that dehydration. We talked to school officials and coaches today. They say they're doing everything to make sure people stay safe and cool out here amidst the heat. Whether it's the little guys or the big guys, staying hydrated out on the football field is top priority as the heat scorches Northern California. I know my son, he don't even like water, but today he, he I made sure he bring a lot. As heat advisories blanket parts of the state, some school and game officials deciding to add additional water breaks to games and practices to keep the players healthy. Anything we can to keep the kids safe while still giving them the opportunity to play, that's really our goal. And I think the school and the district have done a great job of that. Coaches have been working together to make changes to schedules, all to help make even the slightest difference in game time temperatures. Because of the heat, football games here at Natomas High School have actually been pushed back an hour in hopes that the sun is less intense by the time the players hit the field. Usually in these circumstances, they would push a game back to a Saturday, but it's actually going to be hotter on Saturday, so uh, we're doing everything we can to keep the kids safe today. CIF officials say it's important to look out for more than just the players. Yeah, if it's 110, yeah, let's try and move it because we'd like to play in the morning or do something different. But if you can't, then what can you do during that period of time to make sure that everybody's safe? According to our own chief meteorologist, Christina Werner, temperatures during this heat wave could hit 110 in the Sacramento area. Parents saying it comes down to being smart. You know, let's just take it there. I mean, if you feel like you're uh, dehydrated, stand to the side. You know, that's what the team is for. We got a lot of extra people to go in, you know. If you just don't be afraid. That's why I tell the coaches too, though. Like, let them know, you feel me? Like, tell them, you know, let the coach know that you're de dehydrated. Let me take a rest. It's not a problem. You're not going to get in trouble. Lots of players with big dreams of going pro out playing in the heat today. Still, the most important thing is safety. Eric, back here live on the Natomas football field again. I just want to show you right over here the usual EMS medic team. They are ready and prepared for anyone on the field or in the stands feeling faint from this heat. They're dehydrated. EMS is ready to go here out at the Thursday night lights here. Unusual, but they'll probably be out here tomorrow as well. Reporting live from Natomas High School, Zach Boeto, Fox 40 News.